This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing. You now we're catching Dorado and other species too, but especially with Dorado, I want to talk to you about using artificial baits. Now, lots of times people want to throw jigs, lures at these Dorado, and you really have to stop yourself from doing that. Because a big Dorado, all these Dorados will jump out of the water, and a big Dorado, when he jumps out of the water and he's holding your jig, what he's really holding is basically an arrow and your rod becomes a bow. And these fish jump so much that lots of times they're gonna spit that lure out and the lure's gonna come flying back and it's gonna hit you. I've had them bounce off my chest. I've been lucky having got hooked in the head on them. But I've seen lots of people that have taken hooks from big Dorados jumping and throwing lures. That's why when you're out there, I really recommend, if you can, use bait. Doesn't matter if it's live or dead bait, big hook, and that's the best way to get the Dorado. These jigs will catch Dorado. Do you have to worry about that? They'll hook them. But again, as a safety issue, I really recommend that you use bait. If a hook comes flying at you with a piece of bait on it, it's not gonna hurt you as much as a six ounce or eight ounce jig flying back at you with treble hooks on it. So that's my little tip here in the tackle box today. We were in waters with lots of Dorado. Don't bother throwing a metal jig at them or even a, a light jig, something like this Magic Metal Light, you want to just use that live bait. All right, well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.